use a lot of different brushes, and we have a lot of different brushes. We got flats, and fan brushes, and cutters, highlighters, highliners. But now, what I want to add here, I'm not sure that that's the right color. Let me get a little more red. Now probably what I should do here first is put some dark in there. I'm not sure about this bank here. I don't know if that's clay or what that is. You know, that could be a clay bank, I guess. I love doing these kind of pictures. Now I'm going to blend that right into the water a little bit. I'm going to get a little flat. Drop that brush right there. Maybe use that again. Let's, let's look at some flats here. I want one out about that size. Clean him out a little bit. Now, I want to make the bank there, but I want it to be dark, dark. Not sure how that bank is made there yet. We'll have to uh, okay. Now you're beginning to see that it's uh, shaping up like a little river bank there. Let me get a little thinner in my brush. Sometimes when it's uh, you got real thick color, a little thinner color will go over it a little bit better. So I'm picking up some Van Dyke Brown. And just outlining our little uh, river or creek. And back in there, I'll I show you what we'll do in a second there. I'm going to pull this up into the bank a little bit. And there would be some darker spots along there, which you can see. Similar to that, and let me grab a little of this uh, paint gray. I'm gonna go right back here, put some real dark. And we'll show you how we've done that in, in a few minutes. Okay. 
And a lot of times if you're just, I'm just adding a few uh, dark spots. And after we start putting our highlights in, you'll see what that'll do. That, that gives it a little more uh, detail. And I'm just adding them at random. I'm not trying to shape them or make them look like anything right now because I'm I'm not really sure what they will be myself yet, it's, or if it'll be a rock, or if it'll be uh, foliage or moss growing over it, or something of that nature. Now, I really love those old trees like that. I really do. Now, what I would like to add, though, maybe is a, of course, you know, I always like barns and stuff of that nature. And people, I love to do people in my pictures. I love. And most of river banks are not totally straight. They usually have a little uh, area around them that's uneven. Right now, I'm just pulling a little highlight down in the water a little bit. Now, what you can do, too, if uh, I didn't do it here, you can actually add the, uh, the mountain into your water if you want to. Okay, that's about all of that I want to do right now. Now, as I told you a minute ago, our highlights are not completed. In the background trees, I want them to be a little brighter. So, what we will do, we'll make it brighter. And I've just added to pick up a little white. And I'm going to pick up a little more yellow. And see if that's too bright. The sun's going to be hitting them in areas. We won't put this all over it either, but just in areas. That's too bright, we'll come back and darken it a little bit, but I, I believe it'll be okay. I'm gonna take the same little uh, fan brush, a little small one. And you, you can take the big one, uh, you probably saw us do that occasionally, and just use the corner of it. I to thin a little, and I believe it will make just a touch brighter. All right, I think that's it. Again, if it, if your color don't go on good, it's probably too thick. I'm going to thin this down just a tad. Whoops. That's too much tad, isn't it? I don't want it to run off the canvas. If I put that on there, it would, wouldn't it? 
Let's try that. I've got a little too thin to be honest with you, so I'll go back here and get into a little of the little bit of the thicker. That should do it. And just add detail now. I'll go back and do this again because I didn't get it as bright as I want it. But just in spots. Don't do that all over your tree. Now we're going to add some, something else in here. I'm not sure what yet. A lot of pretty flowers and foliage. And that's what we're getting. I'm going to. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to put too much of this in here right now because I'm not sure what we're going to put in there. I, I love, sometimes I, I think it's more interesting to have an old dead tree than it is to have a live one. But I love both. Okay, I'm going to pop that knife out a little bit before I forget. Yeah, I'm going to come in and... Uh, Add a few more uh, interesting things here. One thing that I think I would, would like to put in is maybe, maybe a building or two buildings or something or, or a uh, house or something. Maybe a house right here. Let's see what we can do. And I'm not sure how big to make it. Let's scrape out an area here. I'm just scraping color off. Okay, that's the side of our house. Now, in order to make the end on it, we need a eave. It can be a real steep one or, or not. And I'm going to pull that down right along there. And I'm just sort of actually drawing with the knife, I guess you'd say. i tell you what, I'm going to pull a roof line out. Uh, and actually, you can actually just, just draw with it if you want to. Like so. You know what I'd like to have here? I don't think we've ever done this on the show. But I'd sort of like to have a, maybe a stone house. You see what you do with the palette? I mean, that, that's not a, a perfect drawing, but it's, it'll give you an idea about exactly how you want to lay your, your house out. Okay, let's why you say we get a mason in here and lay some stone, you know what I'm saying? Let's see how that'll turn out. I need a brush, a small brush, uh, one at, uh, maybe that'd be a good stone size, I don't know. Now, you could draw this out and take a lot of time to do this, or you could do it the way, remember we showed you how to make stone in the, uh, 
and let's we'll put stone pathway on it. In order to do that, let me let me change this color just a little bit right here. Now you could make I'll show you on the can on the palette here. You could use dark color in the background and just take your light color and go and put your stone in, you know. Zap, 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 zap. That looks really good. We may do that, um, but let me start one other way here and see how it looks. I'm gonna fill up one side really full with that, fill up the other side with the brown. And we're gonna do it on the bottom we'll start here with that. Whoops. I believe we'll do it the way that I suggested to start with. I think it will be prettier. Right on the border of that uh, frame on the background. So I'll have to lay it down sideways and put it over in there. Probably gonna put stone on the end too, so let's do it also. And I could we'll put it at least halfway up. How's that? This is a little mount cabin, I guess. Or it'd be a little stone house, I guess. Okay, back to the drawing board. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes, so we'll, we'll just get started. Adding a few. And I'm doing all this one hand, so we won't try to make it perfectly straight. We'll just put a bunch of them down. And we'll try to keep them sort of straight. All right. <clears throat> This must be River Rock, I guess. Okay, I guess we're going to have to leave for today. As bad as I could go. Well, again, we'll come to the close of another show. And if you want to get a copy of anything like this, give us a call the number on your screen. And come back and be with us next week. We'll do a little more work on our little stone house. Goodbye and God bless. Hey everybody, welcome to our studio. So glad you joined us today. We've been working on a little painting here, the summer thing, and we're trying to build a little house here. So come over to the canvas and we'll do a little more work on it and see what you think of it. Now what I'm doing, I'm actually putting stone We might end it right there, I don't know. I don't know, let's put a little more. Actually, I need some of these to be a little brighter. So I'm going back touch some of these now if, if I were doing this for sale I'd draw all this in and, and do it so with a mile stick and I'm really perfectly straight but I sort of like the freehand stuff a lot a lot of times sometimes sometimes even better I'm not trying to hurry I'm just it seems like you can do better if you just keep going with them, you know, instead of trying to think about it. And yeah, you got to keep coloring your brush. Wow, that's done all the way up, isn't it?
Looks like they got the big stem on the bottom and the little on the top. Then. I'm just trying to get these on the end. Sort of at an angle. And I'm not making those quite as definite as those out front, if you'll notice. And by that, I mean I'm making them a little bit darker. And that's about as far as they go up. They're probably boards that be down through there. Let's see if we can make some boards. So sort of like that maybe. Top of the house, probably an old rusty thing. So let's see if we can get some rust color in there. And we'll grab another brush, one that's not quite as small as that one. We need some rust. Rust, rust. We'll put a little lizard crimson, cream red, brown. A little bit of paint's gray. A little more than that. Brown. A little blue. I think we over it, don't you? No problem. I don't have a little streak there if I can get it that way. I don't know that I can. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to pull the line see if I can get it sort of straight. Oops. I want some dark, dark right there. Yeah, I want it a little bit brighter. See if I can do this. In spots. Actually, that's a little too wide. I want, I want it a little narrower than that. Let me grab a smaller one. Beautiful. If there's a perfect one. Rinse that out real, real good. Hopefully. Okay, beautiful. Now I would like to have a little Eve line across there if I could get one. I don't know that I can. Let Not too bad. I'm going to put a little chimney right there. I'll tell you what, it 
pretty good looking old house. There ain't no way to get in it. So I better put some kind of door there, I guess. And a window. Whoops. Got a hair sticking out everywhere there. That's better. Okay, where do you want the door? Here? Let's put it right here. Let's put it right here. Let's put it here. Good looking door. Window? At least one window in it. Better have two windows. Need one back here in the, the kitchen or the bedroom, whichever. I want a little, a little darker. I better put a window on this side too, I guess. At least one. Maybe two. You know what? We better put a little porch or something on that thing. We'll probably outline that a little bit. Maybe we do it right now. Maybe. If we can. Can't get it covering up. We'll come back and do that later. Okay, we've got a little porch. You need a little... Uh, Concrete thing here, maybe. For the porch to set on. And a little walkway, maybe. All right. Now, if you notice, I'm trying to keep the lines of the walkway straight with the bottom of the canvas, if I can. All right.
We'll have to do that one. With our little liner brush, won't we? Okay, let me see if we can get a little work done on our water here. I'm not sure. <clears throat> On a little blue, semi blue, now I'm just actually touching a few little things on top of the water here. And we probably eventually put a lot of white in here. But right now I'm just putting a few little blue lines in you where the water runs back up against the bank. And you see, you can't hardly tell where the water begins and the the land ends, or vice versa. The reason being, it's real shallow here, and you can see the earth underneath. All right, I'm going to grab a little of this white. Try to keep that as straight as I can. Mm -hmm. 